Hi everybody. Uh, I've been talking a lot about design and drawing and and style and things like this. I thought that um, it would be actually a good idea for me to go over um, some practical tips on improving your designs if you've already started drawing, that sort of thing. Things to look out for. Uh, right here, uh, 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 and that's actually that's what I'm going to be talking about uh, this in this video. I'm going to be drawing over this drawing here from uh, somebody who's asked me uh, about uh, improving their drawing. They they can't see what it is that uh, they're doing wrong. So I thought I'd uh, it'd be helpful for me to draw over her drawing. Only um, I wanted to share it with everybody so that if you're having the same problems, uh, you may also uh, may get, get something out of this. Uh, by the way, hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 20 years now. Uh, this is just in case you don't know me. All right, so uh, I'm, I'm going to get started. Now, uh, overall, this isn't, uh, you know, it's not like it's a bad drawing or anything. But uh, I'm going to go over a few things, uh, a, a few tips about this. I'm not going to necessarily go over the painting and the tone and all this other stuff. That would actually take me way, way too long. Um, perhaps I'll do another video where I just address uh, that sort of thing, drawing forms and all this other stuff and, 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 uh, and drawing more... Uh, uh, rendered looking uh, things, but I'm going to go over really basic structural things in this video. So first, let me reduce the opacity. Okay. So these are the the I'm going to speak about over uh, four topic talking points this time around, and I actually wrote them down not only for you to uh, see clearly, but for me to remember what I'm going to be talking about. Um, first and foremost, uh, get good reference. Now, I don't know if this uh, character had any reference at all in what it is. It seems to me like some th th there is re reference. This has been referenced. That's what it seems like to me. Like, like the costume seems to have been referenced. I've done my own research, so I'll talk about that. I'll also be talking about uh, playing with shapes, playing with the abstract, playing, uh, playing around with uh, contrast, and, uh, and balance and harmonizing these two things. I'm also going to be talking about drawing solid and uh, complementary to that is knowing your anatomy. All right, so these are the four things I'm going to be talking about um, with this particular design. So let me start. Now the first thing I want to do is look up good reference, right? Otherwise, I won't even know what the costume is. So this, to me, um, I'm not going to talk about this. Uh, this is whatever you want it to be. I'm not going to be going into props at the moment. But I do want to talk about the costume itself. Now, I went in and I looked up my own reference. So I'm assuming that this, this re whoa. Okay, so this reference here is m mostly for the hood because it seems to me like this hood and this hood are in the same, this is the same, this is the type of hood that she was looking for with this kind of a vest or similar. It's a only, this is closed and this is an open vest. But uh, I also looked over this vest here. So this also looks like the type of vest and this kind of a shirt thing going and then you've got the boots which are probably boots like these and again this guy's got the vest thing going then we got this with the same kind of a boots uh yeah they got this mostly for the vest and this for the hood and this is not the right hood so maybe i'll get rid of this so do you do you see why it's important to, and then I, I, this is where I looked up the reference. Okay, so do you see why it's important to have good reference? And here's another hood, but again, this is not the right type of hood, so I'll 
get rid of that and move this over here. Um, okay. So let me just. All right. Okay, so um, let's begin with this. Now, actually, you know what? I'm gonna have. I'm gonna take the reference that I just said I had, and I'm gonna move it to my other screen, so I can take a look at it. Okay. Um, now I've got reference, so I know what I'm looking for here. Now, on top of that, I want to uh, play around with these shapes. <clears throat> the reason I want to play around with these shapes, I have my reference. Now I want to play around with the shapes. Uh, a drawing is a series of flat graphic sim uh, flat graphic shapes. Uh, we are not drawing in three dimensions. We are drawing in a flat surface. And the best things to do in a flat surface is draw a graphic. Uh, eventually, we add modeling and structure and, and things like that to, to, to create the illusion of, of uh, three-dimensionality. But uh, let's play to our strengths first and acknowledge that we are in a flat uh, plane. We are talking graphics. So when I mean flat shapes, I mean that we're, we're, we're playing around with the space in the picture plane uh, and creating a character with interesting shapes and shape dynamics that uh, would be um, interesting. Okay, so this man is supposed to be very, um, what's the word, effeminate or, um, I don't know, uh, soft. So he's not exactly the type of character that is in our reference, who's very kind of rugged. He's a little bit softer. Uh, so let's begin with, uh, I'm going to start just drawing blocky at first. Uh, the reason I'm drawing blocky is because um, straights are easier to control than, than uh, curves. Than, than soft shapes. And even though he is supposed to be um, a softer character, we could soften this stuff later. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is, I'm sorry, I'm checking to see if this is the right, my the correct uh, pencil here okay this is what I want okay um, I, as I was saying even though he's supposed to be a softer character um, we can soften this stuff up later so right now I'm just looking for interesting shapes Let me mess around a little bit more with the pose. Also, so we've got this character. He's got a very small head, it seems. Okay, so I'm looking. What I'm looking for is where is the weight? How is the weight distributed here? If I was to do this and have this kind of thrust out and this kind of standing back. That gives me a more natural pose, I think. Contrapposto. Shoulders down, hips up. So we've got 
this going on here. Um, I like the idea that he is more heavy on the top. So this space here, or rather this space here, this is not split in half. They shouldn't be the same size. Maybe he should have longer legs. He's not split in half. These should not, this and this should not be even. We want something that's a little bit more dynamic than that, just to add interest and make the character a little bit more interesting. I'm not sure if I got that, so let me let me check. I'm going to create a new layer just to test it. Okay. Good. Good. All right. So from here to the top is it's not the same. Right now, I am just drawing um, forces. I'm not drawing anything in particular yet. No details. I'm just trying to get the pose, the gesture. It's better to start here and then work on to shapes. So this is already looking better than uh, what we actually have. This is a nebulous pose. This is a little bit nebulous. What we want is to find the um, how he's standing, where the balance is. So he is standing on this foot, basically. This is where most of his weight is. That's why... Oh, that's why this actually should be where his hip goes up, not the way I had it. So all his weight is on this foot. And then this, therefore, should balance this way, because that's how it works. So he, his weight is on this foot. His shoulders go down, his hips go up. It was my mistake to have done it the other way. I wasn't paying attention. All right. So we've got this general gesture. Now we want to play with the, with the, um, with the shapes. Now we've already got some of the shape because we already um, changed the spacing of this. We want we have big longer legs than we have torso. So that's already already playing with shapes. Let's continue. All right. So he is not very bulky. He's not super buff or whatever so we can make him a little thinner now he's I'm drawing him without any of the costume but the costume is so critical for shape design so Let's begin putting in the costume, even though we don't have like a lot of structure or things like that. 
what I'm doing now is I'm looking for a good, interesting silhouette shape. So the hood, uh, from my reference, kind of has a shape like this. But I got to remember he's a thin guy, so. Maybe we could taper him, his body going this way. Okay, but he's got that, that uh, this um, vest happening. So let me take a look at my reference. And um, this is kind of what we want, right? This kind of open vest. So I'll move that over there. And I'm going to add it in here. Now, here's the thing about these this vest is that it kind of pops up and gives you automatically these kind of broad shoulder looking thing. And then this goes straight down. Maybe we could say that the horizon line is probably about here, so maybe we, we're looking up at him a little bit. I don't like the way that looks at all. I will have this kind of go behind then. Uh, the shirt, this hood is part of the this shirt. So now we've got these kind of sleeves that are rolled up, but I'm looking at my reference. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of rolled up sleeves going on. Let me make sure of this going here. Yeah, okay. No rolled up sleeve. Nope. 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 Most of the time, sleeves not rolled up. Okay, so I am not going to do rolled up sleeves. Let me, well, let me see. Anybody with rolled up sleeves in here? Okay, so we've got these, which that's a Theme, that's a woman's blouse. Yeah, no rolled up sleeves. No rolled up sleeves, but but um, I did see this guy, and he's kind of got this thing going on here. And I like this. So this is almost rolled up sleeves. So what I'm going to do here is... We've got the big poofy sleeves, but okay. 
he's got these bracers, these braces like on his on his forearms. Okay. So we got a lot of shapes going on here so far. Looking at the shapes here. Let me keep looking at my reference. Okay, so this, let's keep going. Let's add that belt. He's a really thin guy, but he still needs a belt here. It's kind of hanging. And his shirt is kind of hanging. Then we got his pants. Let me look at somebody else's pants. I don't like I don't like this one. These are tight. These are baggy. 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 These don't look like they would be the type of seams. I think they would get bunched up like this. Oh, I forgot we want a high crotch. So we got to make sure to... And I don't like these boots. I like these boots. They're surprisingly tight. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over a cough. So right now I'm just really worrying about the costume and um, thinking a little bit about the design. But I'm still actually not talking about the design yet. I'm still worried about the costume. I'm just going to draw a boxy shape for the hand for now. So this guy must be like some kind of mage. I 
Okie doke. So this is what we've got so far. Let me look back at my reference again later. But these are the general shapes we've got. So I've got this going on, but I'm wondering if I can't push these shapes a little bit more. I may destroy it and make everything look messed up. But let's begin with the face, maybe. We've got this kind of effeminate looking face. Uh, let me... Let me play with the body shapes first. Okay, so we've got this shape happening. And I like this going on. Streamline this. Make it really thin. Yeah, okay, that looks good. I like that. We've got this kind of boxy shape. Let's see if we can mess with it a little bit. What I'm doing here, what I'm looking for is just variety. I'm, I'm, I'm just playing, pushing the shapes just a little bit, adding a little bit of rhythm to the, to the things so that some things flow from, the lines flow from one thing to another. I'm also adding straights and curves. So this is a little bit, this is a C curve, but this is an S curve here, you know. I'm just messing with it, just playing around with it, looking for places where things can be pushed or adjusted or add some variety, some interest. Not not everything, <clears throat> so that it's not everything is just um, uh, kind of generic kind of normal. It's a little bit less normal than we'd want. Let's make him a little straighter. Make him more masculine. You don't want to give him an hourglass body. Even though he's supposed to be a softer character. Okay, so this is where I think it gets interesting because We've got these, we could really push the bagginess here. Like really like make this really baggy. So what I'm really looking for is just these shapes here. And then when we get down here, we could get really thin. Like these, this guy's barely got any calves. Turn this up a little bit. He's, maybe he's got very thin or very small feet, too. OK, 
Okay. Just soften this up a bit. Just putting the general gesture of a thing of, of a hand in here. I'm, not, I'm still not playing. I'm still not solidifying the hand. I'm just even playing with the masses of the hand there. Make the staff kind of instead of making it straight. Let's play with it. Just mess with it a little bit. Just make it a little bit more squiggly. And even with this, let's make something really tiny and thin and then a big and fat top. So that there's contrast. Even here. Okay. <coughs> let's see what we got now. Okay. So that's looking a little bit better. Let's start getting a little bit more accurate here with the details. Let me take a look at my reference again. How does this work? Okay, so this I'm going to check this connection here. So this here, we actually see his shoulders. And then this. It's like a sleeve, like a, like a, there we go. It's like a collar, it's the collar of a shirt here. Okay, I still don't have a face. Okay. Hmm. I kind of don't like that arm. Oops. Okay, so uh, actually, what I'm uh, what I'm getting at here is I like the general shapes going on here. What I'd like to do now is 
is try to solidify this character. I don't know if any of the anatomy is actually working in here. Uh, I wasn't thinking about it. I was just thinking about shapes, but it's now time to start trying to finesse this guy a little bit more and start adding a little bit of anatomy and construction in here, which is one of the things I wanted to talk about. So here's a rib cage. This is his stomach. This is the strip. You know, his belly button's probably in here. His hips. His hip bone here. His crotch is here. He's got very spindly legs. So I'm actually drawing the anatomy in here. His chest. Which goes into his shoulders. Go across. His other shoulder, so let me. This shoulder is up, this shoulder is down. His arms. I'm assuming he's got very. He's not very buff, so it's not. I'm adding this a lot of muscles in here, but really he probably doesn't. He's not that defined. I just want to know where generally his body is here so this is really where my drawing is falling apart a bit here because I don't understand what's going on in this area see this is what's going on right here the wrists and off of the wrists the hands I'm going to just uh, right now I'm abstracting them into the palms are just these blocks And I've yet to design the face. But as you can see, this is his general anatomy. So, going back to this drawing, one of the things that was missing is that there was no, um, when you look, when you look at 
this drawing what is what is the shape what is going on here everything is kind of nebulous it's it's a little nebulous i mean you you don't really know there's no design there's no uh shape choices going on There is no shape choices. So there you're not you're not really getting any any shapes going on here. It's not clear what what it's supposed to be. Um also um we don't know where the body parts are like where is the wrist where's the elbow how long is the 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 wrist is not is a little bit where's the where's the shoulders they're not there you see there's no there's no anatomy it's just limbs placed there for no reason What you want is to actually see the connections, where everything fits. Now these are still not the best shapes. And after the after I put this on there, maybe I could refine it and make even better shapes. And make it even clearer. Designing a character is a process. It's not like you just draw whatever the end. Um, you're thinking about many, many different things, and there is no reason why you can't take your time and uh, break up each step into parts. So just do the design shape. Uh, Designing the shape step and the designing and 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 the and the figuring out the the anatomy step and the figuring out the costume step. Um, all of those things can be broken down into smaller steps. Um, if you try to do them all at once, um, you may get lost, and you may not get what you want um, you'll have problems like for example this had anatomy problems so I'm trying to work it out here so that I know when I put the clothes on and try to put the shapes back on that everything is working And I know how the anatomy works because I go to figure drawing classes. And I've also studied anatomy on my own, specifically uh, Bridgman. And uh, there's, I made a video about it. Uh, you can go look at it if you want. Okay. So... I will show you where you can find it in a, in a uh, there, there should be some, the show notes should have it, but um, <coughs> show notes below. Okay, so both of these, the problem is this, let me see, change the layer color to, yeah, that's good. So I could see what the blazes I'm doing. All right. Let me separate everything. Let me put this and make this. Yeah, okay. So I may not get to the face.
This is video is going a little bit long. I can't tell what I'm doing with the here. So this stuff is still kind of, I need to be able to see, okay. This is okay. This is okay. This, not so much, I kind of, This is not okay. And by not okay, I mean that it's not going, see the line is going in, it was a, my original blue line is going inward. When you could see the in the anatomy, it should go across his, his chest like that. And now I can see his, where his arm begins. And the poofiness of this. It would probably get bunched up here. Okay. This should pinch here. This is where his shirt. Let's see. Okay. So um, I'm just trying to follow my anatomy here while still keeping these big poofy shapes coming off of. I don't want to lose these shapes. So here we go. So uh, one of the things I wanted to make note is that, uh, look how many layers I've got, how many versions of the character I've got. Just working on top, working one chunk on top of another chunk on top of another chunk. This is a boot. And every, I just have, I mean, this doesn't just magically happen. If you're really working on a character design and you want the design to really work, um, you don't just automatically convince yourself you know what you're doing. You don't go with, like, their first pass. That's That's what I mean. You go over it again and again and again. Double check, triple check, test test it, you know. This isn't meant to be a cartoony design, so. The variable, the, the shape variables or variations are subtle
They're not like enormous, like in a cartoon. So let's see. Oops, I forgot the staff. Ooh, don't want it there. It's a tangent. There. Now I'm drawing these lines here because I'm trying to find where the pinch is. The pinch is getting pulled here, so this is where. You want, you want, when you're drawing um, folds, you want to find where the, where the stress points are and then just pull from there. With baggy clothes, it's a little different. It's a little bit more of a free for all, but. And the face kind of works in a very similar way, where you're trying to find, because this guy's got long hair. So with the face, when you're looking for, to make a, um, a unique face, first with the hair is just a graphic. You're trying to find the best graphic shape that you can that makes an interesting hair shape. And at the moment, I simply don't have one. But that will take me way, way, way longer than I really... I, I could spend another hour just trying to figure out what hair shapes, what uh, face type I need and maybe I'll do another video of just doing the face but um, so maybe I'll do that next time actually I'll just do the face but for now I've got generally a good body shape that I like so um, hopefully I've I've helped out a, I, I've um, demystified some of these things for example again this is the stuff I talked about good reference so I had the reference and I was looking at it constantly and I was playing around with the shapes trying to see where um, I was trying to make sure that none of the shapes were uh, too even I was experimenting to see if I could find you know fat versus thin uh, and I started really um, where am I? I was trying to avoid a nebulous kind of shapelessness to it where there I really can't tell what the it really what was going on um, this is what it is here it is so then I started really like finessing the shapes and simplifying. So that's what I was doing here. So that's playing with the shapes. Then I went in and started trying to draw solid, solid and anatomical. Trying to put in the anatomy. Here's the rib cage, making it solid, making sure that all these things were working in space, blocking in, 
the making solid uh you know the for the for the palms making these solid making a solid head um at the anatomy again just making sure that the anatomy is working putting in the the hips connecting the shoulders with with the pectorals um just really making sure that all these things were working and be uh, were solid and then on top of that, you can kind of finesse it a little bit more. This is a little wonky right here. So I may still need to work on this, but this, yeah, this is a little, what, what's going on here? So, you know, it's stuff like that. You, you just play with it and you play with it and you play with it. And, and maybe you can, um, and you, and you look, you look for, for ways to improve what you're doing. It's always a work it's a work in progress all throughout all the time and, and you're and you're just playing with it and you're pushing and pulling and yanking and nothing is really absolute is there a way you can simplify shapes is there a way to more clearly state something you see that's a lot better suddenly this just goes right down there boom Maybe. I don't know. There's this tangent right here. I don't like this tangent. Maybe I should just get this out of the way. Okay, so um, yeah, I could just keep playing around with this. So I'll make another video where I just tackle a, the, uh, a face so that you can understand what I'm doing here with the face, how I could play around in the same way, because the, the, here's the thing about faces. They're about as complicated to draw as entire bodies. So, um, so are hands, actually. Hands are just ridiculously hard. Um, which is a reason why um, I highly recommend. Okay, so here's here's some uh, tips. Uh, so another video that you can look at um, that'll probably help you out, uh, especially when you're drawing characters. Um, I did do um, a video uh, where I uh, give you tips on how to draw realistic manga style, like uh, Street Fighter and Soul Calibur and that sort of thing. But um, my point here uh, specifically is to show you how um, using Bridgman um, construction and copying Bridgman, you can start learning all these anatomical shapes that in eventually is going to help you out a lot when uh, drawing from your imagination and drawing from your head. Uh, you really, really, if you don't, if you don't have these formulas, these kinds of formulas memorized, it's a huge, huge, huge problem, uh, especially if you're trying to draw naturalistic. If you really don't know how to break down a nose like this, you're in trouble. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend you watch this video so that you can get the tips that I, um, that I give on being able to properly construct uh, your drawings. Also, if you're looking it for uh, design information um, and construction information, for example, here this one is called uh, making your look your cartoons look from professional. So this is all about uh, compound forms, uh, constructing your characters uh, using these forms so that you can uh, better more uh, more uh, draw better more solid 
drawings, um, as well as this uh, uh, po uh, lesson that I wrote about design and um, coming up uh, and designing characters in such a way that uh, all these things are broken up in such a way that they um, they're not all even. Um, that you're adding variety to your designs um, and including with shapes in the same way with shapes try not to break up shapes into to being boring try to like play around with them um, and then I go over that and I have exercises here and I do that with basic shapes and stick figures because uh, I can break down these things into such simple uh, the the the, uh, the ideas behind these things uh, can be broken down to stick figures and simple shapes. Um, and then you could add it to much more advanced stuff like uh, drawing in, in the Bridgman style. And, and then coming in and then just putting the naturalistic stuff in. Okay, so um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, I'm going to make another video just on the face so that you could uh, see what I was doing here. Um, I'm trying to see something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see this 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 is wrong. This should be a little bit more like this. I know the shoulders lower, but still. It just looks wrong to me. Yeah, that's much, much better. So that this, whoops. This is better here like this. So it just never ends. You just keep testing and checking and looking and seeing what's going on and there we go that's a little better make sure to keep this shape working all right so um, again hope that's helpful um, if you want to uh, support if you want uh, to support me um, you could go to my patreon page it's you know right here there's like a link um, also uh, yeah you could ask me questions uh, anytime about anything if you want me to draw over your drawing uh, go ahead and contact me and uh, see what I can do. Um, however, I will say that uh, my patrons uh, on Patreon get first dibs. So whenever my patrons on Patreon ask me a question or they want me to draw over something for them or whatever it is, um, I, get, I draw their stuff first. I get to their stuff first um, before I get to anybody else's. So... Um, if you want to have, if you want to be prioritized, then uh, I, I'd, I'd really appreciate uh, if you'd um, uh, support me there on Patreon. And of course, one of the benefits is getting your stuff, uh, your answers, your questions answered first. All right, so. Um, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.